Well, welcome family. Today we are gathered together on this very beautiful day for a very special and joyous occasion. And that is to witness and bless the joining of Stacy and Katie in marriage. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people and it's founded on love. A poet once put it this way, suddenly there's no more mystery. It seems like you're the other half of me. Our two hard speed is one and we've only just begun. Ladies, if I can have you hand your bouquets to the maid of honor there, and then I'll have the two of you join both of each other's hands facing each other. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here this afternoon. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you all the way to Thule Springs, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And Stacy and Katie, I'm sure the two of you realize this, these vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Stacy, I have a question for you. Do you take Katie to be your partner, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Stacy, take you, Katie, to be my partner. I, Stacy, take you, Katie, to be my partner. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal partner. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. Katie, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Stacy to be your partner, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. Then please repeat after me. I, Katie, take you, Stacy, to be my partner. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal partner. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today, I will love you tomorrow, and I will love you forever. And now on this very special day, I'd like to do an Apache wedding blessing for the two of you. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your life together, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect, and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. And when difficulty, frustration, and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not just the part that seems wrong. And in this way, you'll be able to ride out the storms even when the clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives, remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. And now if we could have the wedding rings, please. And I'll have you each hold one another's ring when you receive it. Perfect. And throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. And these things symbolize the pledges that you just made to one another here today. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign signifying to all 
the uniting of the two of you in marriage. Stacy, you get to go first. Please place Katie's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. I have chosen to be the one. To share my life. Perfect. Looks like it's all the way on. Yeah. Katie, go ahead and place <laughs> Stacy's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring, you this ring. as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love. And, as and as a reminder that I have chosen you, have chosen you. To, be to be the one to share my life. You can slide it all the way on. Perfect. I'll have the TV turn and face me the way we started. And if they can have their bouquets back, that would be great. Stacy and Katie, in just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you as married. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple brief things about marriage. Good things to always keep in mind. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other, even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with, certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. Stacy and Katie, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by your family here today. You've now sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you as married, and you may kiss. And congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce Stacy and Katie as married. Congratulations. And one more kiss.